yeah, the, yeah, the three years that I was in, I was in therapy uh, for with my, with my PTSD. I was trying to have a conversation with the taxi driver. So I went, "Was your ten?" I told him I loved it. But before any of that, roll intro. Cool today. Get yourself a little dust bath, yeah? And you, Arnie, you're in charge. Good morning. I'm from the southwest of France. It's gonna be lovely today, it's gonna to be gorgeous. I'm gonna get um, I'm gonna get out of my bike. The fly trap. It's not caught any flies. Don't know why. On the advert, it had loads in it. Um yeah, so despite um turning up the hot tub. 32 degrees, 33 degrees yesterday. The weather heated it up to 38. So uh, I did get in and I was seriously disappointed. <laughs> Champagne problem. Um, so currently it's at 35 degrees. So yeah, well, Lisa and I want a curry. I'm going to jump on the bike. I'm going to take a ride up to Ongolem and uh, pick it up and then bring it back. I'm also going to try and try one more time to get the GoPro fixed, see whether I can uh, um, sort it out via the app, and then I'll be able to to put the GoPro on my camera. Um, I'm not holding out much hope. I'm going to go shopping. I'm not taking you there. There's too many shopping videos on this channel. Whatever's next, let's do that. mention about that trip the service of the the Kashmir garden is amazing if you saw me walking towards them obviously dressed in leathers looking as though I was, I was about to pass out at any point <clears throat> he ushers me in he gives me a chair and sits me under a fan <laughs> uh, but after a little, a little while I went for a walk big mistake uh, <laughs> but I managed to get some footage the other thing I'm, I'm walking behind to get um, a gent in the loosest of terms, but it's busy. And he's uh, dressed in a pair of uh, bay shorts. I think he was English. Uh, he stops directly in front of me. He raises his left leg, spreads his arse cheek, and farts. Not once, but twice, because he had to raise his uh, 
right arse cheek for that one. <laughs> and then I get lost on the way back, which takes an absolute age to get back. It's because the uh, the Google Maps is not as quick as the bike. <laughs> so um, I went the long way back. Anyway, back home now, walk around the garden in just my boxer shorts because <laughs> it's too warm. It's not too warm. It's lovely. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Sorry. <laughs> Before I probably go, I was about to jump in the hot tub. But the sun's heated up to 37. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. morning. Lovely warm today. Right, quarter to six. I was out this morning, letting the cockerels out, letting the cockerel out and the hens out, because he was got every four seconds he was cockadoodle doing. So if it was winding me up, it would have been winding the neighbours up too, so uh, I let him out. Anyway, the first thing he did, um, he got all um, aimable to the hens. I got to work pretty quick. They weren't interested. They weren't interested at all. He tried every single hen, which resulted in a in a complete failure on Arnie's half. The last time I saw action like that, a tactic like that, was my mate Jay in the nightclubs in the early 90s, with a similar result. <laughs> anyway, we're going to the, the Hope Charity Shop today, only to buy flour. That's all we're going for. Got no intention of buying anything else. Let's see. Of living in France is, is I've been in the hot tub and it'd be midday. Can't turn the bubbles on. Too noisy. It's been lovely today. It's been well. It's been beyond warm. It's been hot. Uh, I think I spent two hours in the hot tub. A cool 33. <laughs> right, thanks for all your um, your concerns in the comments the other day for when I was uh, strimming the lawn. No eye protection, no head protection, no leg protection. We're flip flops. I get it, I get it, I really do get it. I have got a real laxy daisy attitude towards health and safety and I, and I know I need to change it. I know where it comes from um, and it's and I know this from all the time oh, yeah, the, yeah, the three years that I was in I was in therapy uh, for with my, with my PTSD. I risk averse to a lot of things anxiety over a lot of things but uh, when it comes to stuff like that not so much so and here's the reason why when in your formative years you know you served in the military and uh and you go to places where you're being shot at, um, either by direct sniper fire in uh, Sarajevo um, and other places, armed, armed only with a 5.56 and a smile, then uh, anything else seems there, uh, yeah, whatever. I know I need to change it, and I'm not trying to be glib about, um, about it either, but. Uh, must try harder next time. I know that. It's a short video, this. I know it is from when I edited it yesterday and I've done not much today apart from go to the charity shop. And uh, got in the hot tub and uh, sorted the bush out. 
trim the bush. Anyway, which is why I'm talking now to compensate for the lack of content. Anyway, the other day when Darren, and Mandy, and their son Matthew came round, uh, I was telling them about a story about when we came over, not July gone, but last July, when we were filming with a place in the sun, and uh, my French was even worse than what it is now. And I was trying to have a conversation with a taxi driver on the way to the airport, Limoges Airport, or as my brother pronounces it, Limoges. Sometimes he pronounces it Limoges. It's Limoges. Anyway, um, I'm getting a bit cocky. Um, talking French to this French taxi driver who can't speak a word of English. And we're saying how much uh, your kids we've got. He asked me whether I love um, France and I went, Je t'aime. I told him I loved him. <laughs> yeah, so it went quiet and a bit awkward. And, uh, and we spoke no more of it. If you got this far, well done. Please follow me, us, on Instagram. You just uh, started up an, an Instagram account. It's called the Skate to France 2024. And you get to see some pictures of yesteryear and uh, and uh, you some footage that I've been you're filming during the day that won't make this that won't make this edit. Um, yes, yeah, that's just a bit of fun. And thanks for all your comments. You know, look, you know, I like a comment, love a comment. Got loads yesterday from Mark Lippet. He spent the day catching up. I'm my brother. I'm my brother Dazzy M. Um, he um, also spent a lot of time catching up, catching up and commenting. Also had another troll who was watching a video I did a few weeks ago about questions answered on moving to France and this, that and the other. And he said uh, words along the lines of, it wasn't very good English, his verb conjugation was appalling. Uh, and I told him not to. He said, if you're going to troll me in my language, at least... At least learn to speak it. Because I, I would never troll anybody in their language. Let's use Google Translate. But he said, basically, what makes you think that we want another Brit in our country? And I replied back saying, I'm Dutch. <laughs> well, according to my DNA, it's 76%. I am. It's probably only the fourth troll that I've had um, since having the YouTube channel. So it's quite amazing, really. Because there are, there are some idiots out there, some morons. There's another YouTube it says Mark from Going Solo in France, if you watch it, um, there are some morons out there. <coughs> I'll let him, um, I'll let the person keep his comment up there for a while and then I'll uh, block him if he, if he replies. But I'm really blessed that uh, I've not had more. Everyone comments really, really nice stuff. Everyone's caring, especially around me wearing flip flops. Yeah, so today I've been working on the tan. Um, what's a good indicator to see whether you're getting brown? Well, it's the tan line on your feet from your flip-flops. And uh, both Lisa and I have been working on that. <laughs> but yeah, it's weighed only about three out of my five toes of a tan. Anyway, I'm waffling. I've been round the goalpost too many times. Layers. It's not really latest because I just want to explain something. It's, um, the reason why the format's changed slightly, where I used to do, and there's one last thing left to say, it's not from me, it's not from her, it's not from him, it's not from Arnie, and then I get somebody to do the layers. If I'm looking at the algorithm, you know, uh, you know, the YouTube studio, you can see the audience retention. When people hear, and it's not from me, nobody watches after that. Nobody's interested in who's saying the latest. And that affects the, the algorithm, because if YouTube are thinking, well, people aren't watching it to the end, or people are skipping forward, then they don't promote the video anymore. So that's why I do a quick, out of the blue, you're not expecting it, layers. Layers. 